Oh, hi. Uh, welcome to another episode of this old uh, Tercedes. I'm working on the 96 Tercel here today. What I have in my hands is a uh, new uh, pressure plate, clutch, disc, release bearing, all that crap. Anyway, today we're going to change the clutch in this Tercel. Hopefully in record time. What's the time now? Let's see. It's, let's show the viewers. It's 4.50 p.m. I don't know how long this is going to take me. Oh, oh it's me, go. Homer. <laughs> um, it's been a while, but we got some tools ready. We got the operational cart ready here. Um, Matt, what do you think? I think we're well set up for this job, yeah? actually. Okay. Let me uh, give a close we view uh, of where we're attacking today. Yeah. Once the airbox and stuff is out of the way, we're, we're going to rip all that crap out. You'll get a better view of where we're, yeah. where we're going. So, what I'm going to try and do is put it on time lapse here. And hopefully, you, the viewers, can uh, check out just how this goes. So, thanks for watching. Check it out. If I had a hammer, I'd a hammer in the morning, I'd a hammer in the evening, all over this land. I'd a hammer out of danger, I'd a hammer out of warning, I'd a hammer out of danger. Oh, well, we're into the Tercel here now. Got the transmission out in. Uh, out and sorry, it's 5:39. I also took the flex plate, uh, flex plate. Sorry, the the back plate here, and I took the flywheel off. You can see it's oil leak city here. Most of it from the crank seal. Possibly some seeping, seeping out of the pan as well, but we won't worry about that today. We can do that another day. Um, so I've ordered a new seal kit for all this junk here, which we're going to attack right now. So. Uh, Okay kids, well we got our new crank seal here in the crank seal locationing device. So it's going to sit in there just like that. It came with a paper gasket, but it was just friggin' wrong. So I'm not going to use it, I'm just going to use silicone. Actually I'm going to use um, the right stuff, because it's always the right stuff. Alright. And uh, in the back room here I got our uh, transmission in the old cleaning tray. So I've brushed the shit out of it. Like new. Well, that's not bad. It's better than it was. So I'm gonna break clean that off and then she's ready to be slammed together. Okay kids, this job's gone really well so far. Uh, where is it? There, I got my transmission to throw in, as you can see there. Uh, car is ready, it's ready to accept. Um, Sam coach. Yeah, so we got our uh, foot assemblies all situated. It came with uh, an installation tool. And this installation tool's got a really narrow tip which uh, does not do a darn thing. All it does is it sits in there, but doesn't actually line up anything. So I had to use just the, uh, the edges of my finger to make sure it was kind of in place. So it would appear to be centered, as we can see with the camera. So that looks all good. Uh, these are torqued to spec. Flywheel's back on, obviously. She's hopefully sealed up real nice. Shouldn't leak any more oil. And in the transmission end here, new release bearing, I've lubed all the points. Where there's contact, clean the shite out of everything. We're gonna slam some new, new oil in here today as well. But uh, yeah, we're generally ready for takeoff here, so let's see how she goes. I won't videotape going back together because that's gonna be boring too. Anyway, bye bye. Okay, kids, it's now 7:43, and car is all done. I've started it up. It goes through the gears. It's awesome. I put new front brake pads on while I was here. Um, oops, just get a better view here. New front brake pads because I had bought some. I figured I might as well throw them in. The old ones still had like, I don't know, 40% left, 50 maybe. So that's all good. Uh, she's all back together. Clean up the battery posts a little bit here. Um, yeah, she's uh, she's a runner. She's good. So we're going to uh, take her for a little test drive. Well, boys, I was just looking. It looks like this was about a one and a half coke job. Uh, clutch plate is taken right, you can see it, right down to the rivets. Oh, bye, Tonya. Tony was nice enough to detail my truck. As you can see, she's she's shining up there. Properly done. Properly done. Tony, well done. Paint sealant, cleanings, even washed the box. Oh, bye bye, Tony. See ya. So yeah, there were not too many hot spots on the clutch disc, really. I've seen way worse. All this is just dust on there from taking it apart, but it's not too badly abused, actually. There you can see it's so it's right down to the rivets. Not best. And that's why I replaced it to the rear main seal. Way she goes. So yeah, we're gonna take it for a little test drive, see how she goes. Uh, big thanks to uh, Mom. Thanks for your support in this. Yeah. 
Anyway, Tercel, for sale, 2,000 bucks. You know you want it.